Waiting in this push. This time around, they could go for it. This is going to have the help of Jankos. He's coming up there. Are they going to have enough damage on towards Azus? They're going to take him low. Hasn't got that ultimate. And he just easy, easy kill. First blood for a frog and on an Ivia. Because the lines need to pull back. They realize Rocket wants to challenge. The stun connect. Stun catches on towards it. Vanda and Jankos both caught out there. Solar Flare comes in. The Kulin not really catching too heavily on Jankos. The Ignite was burning on him. Salava using that 90 caliber net. And the ace in the hole on Froggen, and that's just going to keep Alliance at bay. Such an important pillar of ice there from Zazas, preventing the rest of Alliance from chasing. Now Rocket are trying to back away and heal. They've lost so much HP in Alliance, it looks like they've caught Overpower. Froggen's turned into an egg, he's going to get Overpower down though, Zazas in trouble, he's going to get dropped down here, Wicked will one more cleave, they're going to try and gift it across, it's Shook that will take it. So they're going to start sieging, Froggen's caught out, so the rest of Alliance are on the tower. Going aggressive on Wicked as well on the tower, Jankos takes a big burst of damage there, Salava trying to catch on towards it, Tab second very low, but they just don't have enough. Zazas comes around the backside. Finally, they're going to turn this one around. Rockout on towards Nip. Nip in all sorts of trouble. He's going to get locked down. That's another kill for Rockout. They're going to keep on chasing. Vander, if he lands his dark bindings, almost certainly will be another death for him. He's going to throw it out. No, tries to throw it blind. He doesn't catch it out. Rocket turns it around. Pops out of where he stands. And now Zazas in trouble. The cocoon flashed away at the last second. Great pillar of ice, and that will be Rockout back in a way. Both and the power of Anivia in these team fights, this is going to be scary. Solar Flare catching out Vander and Sullivan. That means the Zazas and Yankos have actually been separated. Remember that Dragon Rage kick was already used by Yankos, but he's going to follow it through. Tries to go in there. Great pillar of ice locking up Wicked and Shook here. Wicked and Shook just taking all of the damage now. That's going to be Vander popping his ultimate off there, but that's a Guardian Angel on Wicked. He's just going to come back to life. Shook chasing away as well. The Rockout really just forcing off Alliance. They do catch a Dark Binding on towards Wicked but not much else. Two things. AoE damage. Tabs could be in trouble. He's in a lot of trouble here. It's going to be Overpower coming around. Not a lot Tabs can do about it. He can't flash away. He's going to turn the in. But in comes Nip. In comes Shook. In comes Froggen. Everybody piling on to Jankos and he gets dropped. Now Overpower's going to be chasing there. Shook, can he land the Cocoon? Will he spit out that poison? Froggen caught with a brilliant Dark Bind in the game from Vanda and that's just in the tower range. That now a we very good combo. Zazas and Vanda, they're going to carry on chasing the Stun Squad Vanda. He's going to throw the Dark Bind in out but again there's no follow-up. This time Overpower coming around the side, but he doesn't want to 5v1 this one. He does throw out the Q, lands it on towards Nif. Dark Binding goes on to Nif as well. Nif taking everything here, but his team just step up, cover him off. Intervention on Overpower, just about saving his skin. Vanda going to follow through. Dark Binding will be back up in a moment, but he hasn't got the range anymore. And it's going to be Alliance that will back away. Pillar of Ice is available in just a moment, but again, great crowd control. Shoot doing the job. Yeah, the Crystallize is going to throw them up, but look at the side. Overpower's going to be flanking. Overpower chased down. Now Alliance are in trouble. This could be carnage. This could be an ace. And there's going to be Alliance in trouble. They're caught out in the bush. Look at the side here. That's going to be Nif locking him down. It is going to be one kill for Tabs. Can he get a second of Vanda? Yes, he can. It will be the death of him. Oh, will it? He's on towards him. But Jankos, Jankos locks on towards him. Froggen doing what he can to keep him at bay. I don't believe the wall comes in. But Selva finally finishes it off. Froggen with no mana. He's just running for his life now. Can Jankos stop him down? Can they close him in? He does get to the tower safety. With the combination of Trundle and Kale, when they get onto, the, onto a target, they shred the defensive statistics. We do see Alliance. They realize they're in a powerful position. They want to start this Baron off. There's not enough members of Rocket to defend, and they've caught Zazas. They're going onto Zazas. Zazas flashes away from that one. They're keeping on that Baron. Now they're going to try and peel, but Tab's second low already. Look at the damage coming out from Zazas. Overpower joins the party and just cleaves him down. Now they're going on towards Nip. Nip getting dropped like a sack of spuds. Shoot goes down as well, and now Ace in the hole will finish the job on Nip. Now they're carrying on towards Wicked. Wicked's running away with that Dominus, but that's three easy kills in the Baron pit. This is now five versus three. Rocket have set their sights on the inhibitor turret. There's nothing that Alliance can do. Froggen is going to have to pull off a godlike defense with this Anivia. He's not even in range to make this happen, and Rocket will grab themselves the inhibitor turret and the inhibitor if they want. They may even take the game here. They can push on through to the Nexus. 30 minutes still on those death timers in a 2v5 situation. You do have to take the inhibitor it down. I think they're going to play it safe, and maybe no, they're going to go for it. They're going for the Nexus. You can see Frogger do what he can to keep them at bay here. Wicked alongside him. The two games haven't got enough. He gets egged in seconds, and that's going to be Frogger going down. This will be Rockout surely taking the game. They're pushing on towards the Nexus turrets, driving it down. Wicked just getting chunked down there. Overpower just cleaving his way. Nothing he can do. Guardian Angels doesn't survive, and he just pops up and dies instantly. Rockout will once again take the game over Alliance.